What is up people? DevSage here and in this video I'm going to be teaching you about view methods. So we've learned that we can attach arbitrary pieces of data to our view instances, username for example, but we can also attach methods as well. We can do that by simply adding the methods property to our instance, which is just going to be an object. This object is going to contain all of the methods that we want to be able to use and call from our template here, our app. Um, so let's create a simple method. Um, so we're just going to create a greet method and this greet is going to take in a message and we're just going to alert that message. Simple enough. So let's go over here and let's create, um, let's create a button and button. We're going to want to click the button and then call greet when we click the button. So we're going to do our V on event listener click and then we're going to say equals and we're going to take in the method that we want to call so we're going to pass in greet and click um hello world and we're going to close that let's give our button some text um let's just call it button and here's our button so let's click on it and boom, look at that. Hello world. We bound the click listener to say, okay, I want you to call greet passing in hello world when I click this button. So it came to our instance and says, okay, I have a greet method. I'm going to call you simple enough. Uh, so let's create something a little bit more interesting than this. So what we're going to create is a random background color generator. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to delete that and we're going to say, okay, I want to click a button. And then when I click a button, I want to change the background of the page to be some random color. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go over to our main.js. Let's add a method underneath this. Um, so actually I can, uh, use a comma and then I can add another method under it. So let's say generate random background. All right. So let's actually get our random color. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to generate three random numbers in between zero and 255 to represent the range of the RGB. So let's say const of random colors equals an array of math.floor math.random um, times 255. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to copy this copy paste. So now we have three random numbers in between zero and 255 to represent our three digit RGB. So now we just need to set the background color to be this RGB value. So what we're going to do is we're going to say document dot um, body dot style equals or sorry dot background equals RGBA and then we're going to pass in we're going to interpolate the random colors variable. We're going to pass in one for the opacity. And let's click save. So now we actually need to actually, we need to call this method. So let's get another button going. And when we click this button, we're just going to change the background. So we're going to call it change background. So we need to bind or sorry, V on click equals and the name of our method is generate random background so I'm going to copy that paste it 
save that and there's our button let's see what it does click oops something is not working let's see what it is let's inspect this unexpected identifier main js 14 oh wait i think i know what it is look at this we actually didn't get uh any commas here and here so now let's try it and look at that it works we're clicking the button and we're changing the background for every button click So that's a little bit about methods. One more thing I want to show you um, about methods is that you can actually access the information inside of your data inside of your methods. So we're just going to modify one of these methods. We're going to modify greet. And instead of taking in a message and alerting that message, we're just going to alert this dot username. And let's go back and create another button really quickly. I'm going to V on click equals greet I'm gonna call that greet and let's uh, click it and we have dev sage that's pulling it straight from the data of our instance so that is a little bit about methods in view if you have any questions go ahead leave them down in the comments uh, leave a like subscribe if you want more content I know that I didn't upload two videos last week. I'm sorry about that. I've been just been kind of busy with stuff, uh, but I want to catch back up. And so if you want more tutorials, you know, maybe leave an idea in the comments of what kind of tutorials you want to see. But other than that, peace.